Once again, we're in the place to be. Welcome back to In The Black. Like the video. Help me grow the channel. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. Some of y'all need to stop complaining, straight up. Some of y'all just need to stop. No matter what happens in the drip ecosystem, people still gonna find a way to complain. And still, all I hear is complaints about the drip garden. Drip garden is broke. Drip garden don't work. The price of plants keep falling. When am I gonna make some money? Folks, look, it's a game. The developer loves game theory. He developed a game for investors, a high risk game. The game is called Drip Garden. If you don't know how it works, then that's totally your fault. It's a game. Learn how to play the game, learn the rules of the game, and then develop a strategy. So let me break it down for you. We are in a bear market right now, definitely. Crypto assets have been falling like crazy, and we understand this. The price of uh, Bitcoin falling, Ethereum falling, BNB falling, and as a result, Drip has fallen as well. If BNB goes low, well, you know, right now Drip is, is tied to it for sure, and the price is going to fall as well. The developer, Forex Shark, said clearly the secret of the drip garden. Actually, it's not really a secret, but he says right here in simple and plain English, when the price of drip is going up, the benefits experienced in drip garden are compounded. And naturally, that means vice versa. So when the price of drip goes up, the benefits, the rewards that you can reap are going to be highlighted, exacerbated, increased because of that. Why is this? Well, it's because when there's more drip in the drip garden ecosystem and when the price is higher, those rewards affect the LP price. When the LP price is affected, then you're getting more bang for your buck with every single seed that you are able to produce because it's all about seeds. People have it wrong. People are thinking that it's all about the plants because that's the number that they see when they look at their garden. They see this uh, number for your plants right here. They see this, so that's all that they think about. Okay, well, you have this many plants, but it really doesn't mean anything other than that's your quote-unquote stake of ownership in this particular platform that we call the drip garden in the animal farm. This just shows you how many plants you have. This shows you what your return is going to be every single day. And it should grow. All you need to be doing is being concerned about compounding while the, prices, while the price of uh, the LP is low right now because the price of drip is low. Acquire as much LP as you can. Put it into the drip garden in the form of plants and then see your seeds per day grow and grow and grow and grow. And when the crypto market returns to, to highs and starts going up and up and up and up, you're gonna, for, you're gonna forget about uh, these times where you know, you're not getting so much uh, in the form of LP. You're gonna forget about that because the returns are going to be substantial just like they were a few months ago. Now it's so easy, that we forget so quickly we forget how many of us were were, were able to um, to recoup our investment by just slowly taking uh, some some profit here and there we're going to be able to do that again and those profits are going to be even bigger for those that have taken the time who weren't frustrated so much that they stopped compounding continue to compound if you compound more than the average user you're going to get that 3% a day. And if you hit that 3% a day, then you're winning. It's all good. Continue to compound. Compound as much as you can. That's really it. Compound as much as you can. The more you compound, the faster your garden is going to grow. And that's just it, folks. That's how you play the game. You can develop your own strategy as far as how often you're going to compound 
when I had a, a very, very small garden, I compounded every, every time a plant was available. Now, not so much. I don't compound every plant because I'm producing a lot more plants nowadays. All right, so whether it's gonna be every 50 plants, every 100 plants, every 500 plants, every 1,000 plants, or just simply once a day, twice a day, five times a day, whatever. Formulate your own strategy and stop staring at these numbers. Stop staring at the numbers like this. This is the, this is the amount uh, in dollars that the, the drip BUSD LP is worth. Stop worrying about how much a plant is worth right now because it doesn't matter. Hopefully, hopefully you're not claiming a whole bunch right now anyway because really you're robbing yourself of the, the, the future potential of your drip garden right now. You're robbing the future all right, in order to have a little bit in your pocket. Now, if you need that, that's fine. That's, that's, that's totally fine. Nobody's getting on you about that. But if you don't need it, then don't take it. Wait until the market recovers and then you can really enjoy the gains that you're going to make, that you're going to realize. That's how you play the game, folks. So get your strategy together, get your mindset in order, and stop listening to all this FUD. It's designed in a way that really exposes you to some risk, and that's fine. But the, the good thing about it is your investment stays locked in. We're going to go through seasons where uh, the market is going to be up, the market is going to be down, and the drip garden is going to react to that. So we're just going to have to be prepared for that. This is the time where we should be compounding even more, just like I'm about to do right now, because it's going to allow your garden to grow faster and faster in this, uh, this, this lean time in crypto space. So all in all, it's your decision. You do your own thing. And I hope it's been helpful to you. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Like the video. Don't forget to do that. And as always, stay smart. Stay in the black. Thank you.